A warm welcome back to our Steam Machines. This is Jack from Conductive Music with a session exploring coding, music and science entitled Conductive Clappers. This is Steam Corner and at the end of the session today you will have coded your very own clapping game for you to be able to practice your rhythms. The coding we'll be using for today's session is available on the link below. So give it a click on your tablet or computer to get yourself started. As ever, thanks to Arts Council England and our partners for making these sessions possible. So this is the screen you're going to arrive at when you click on the code that we gave you in the last section. And you might just need to full screen it with this button up here just so you can see the game properly. But let's have a quick look at what we have for today's experiment. We have lots of things here that we can move and drag around. We have a few objects and they are made out of different materials. Should we see what materials we have here? We have a mouse, so that's biological, living material, I like ourselves. Um, uh, we have fruit, which is made of water and lots of other things. We have a knight who seems to be wearing a lot of metal. Uh, we have a key, again, metal. We have a glass. We have a wooden pencil and we have a rubber balloon. So, should we just have a quick word about how this experiment's gonna operate and what should we should be thinking about today? The word conductive has two meanings, one in music and one in science. In music, if we say someone is a conductor, what they're doing is they're standing in front of a group of musicians and giving instructions as to how they'd like that music to be performed. In science, if we say something is conductive or it is a conductor, what we mean is that it allows electricity to pass through that thing. There are two main things that we say are conductive, and those are metals and water. Now there's another group of things that are not conductive, and these are known as insulators. And those are things like plastic, rubber, glass, paper, or cardboard. So as I was just saying, it's not enough for the item to be able to conduct electricity. We also need an electrical circuit to be established. And there's something on this page here that we need to be looking at very carefully. Now I want you to think about the sides of a battery. You might use them in remote controls or you might use them in toys. They always have two signs on them. And the signs you've probably seen are from maths. But today we're going to talk about them in a slightly different way and they are on our battery in our program. Now can you see here we have our plus sign, we also have our uh, minus sign, don't we, if you remember from mathematics, that means take away. But in science, when we're talking about conductivity and electricity, we are going to refer to these as something else. We're going to call this one positive and this one negative. And this is very important. You have to have a positive connected to the negative side so that electricity can flow through the conductive material. Okay, say that again. So you need a positive and a negative side. So your first challenge of today, so please pause this and have a go with your own program, is to build a circuit and make this light bulb here light up by attaching some of these items to it. Okay, so give the game a pause and off you go. As some of you may have already noticed, there is an extra musical element to the challenge today. As you start to find the correct conductive items from the list and put them into the circuit to complete positive to negative and make the light bulb go on, you'll start to hear fragments of a melody. That melody is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And if you'd like to hear the whole thing from start to end, you can click on the star in the bottom right hand side of the screen just to refresh your memory. So your challenge is to get the correct sequence of conductive elements into the circuit to play the melody from start to finish. And to help you out, if you'd like to quickly return an item that's in the circuit, click on the little R just to the left of the circuit. 
Okay, so I'm sure there'll be many of you who've been able to do this, but if you would like a solution, let me just show you how we're gonna build our circuit. So let's grab our copper wire here. And don't forget, copper is a type of metal, so it's very conductive. And we're gonna to attach that to our positive. We're then gonna grab our other wire, which is also part of this bulb here, and attach it to the negative, which means that any of the objects here that are conductive should be able to complete the circuit here. Now, I know that metal is conductive, so let me start with this metal key here. Okay, right, so, as well, if you remember, I mentioned there is a musical element to this because all of these items that are conductive actually play a melody. And if you want to hear the melody through, you can click on this little star down here. Okay, so I'd like you to pause the tutorial if you can, and I'd like to see if you can get the combination of, of conductive items within this game that will allow you to play it. Now, I've got a trick for you as well. If you want to quickly return the item, say we want to put this key on there, and after it's played, you can just click on this button R and it'll go back, which will allow you time to go and grab the other elements. Okay, so join me back um, in a short break just after after we give you this solution, but have a go figuring it out for yourselves first. Okay, off you go. So before I give you this solution, let's have a talk about why these items are conductive. So we have our conductors and we have our insulators, which is another word for something that doesn't conduct electricity. So let's do our insulators first. The uh, scarf did not conduct electricity unless it was wet, of course. The rock here doesn't conduct electricity. Neither does the wooden easel or the wooden broom down here. Uh, the crystal nor the glass conduct electricity. And this pencil with a rubber end and it's missing its nib doesn't conduct electricity either, neither does the balloon. So they, they are all insulators. Now let's look at the right pattern for the music we had as well. Now our first one was the one we started with, as some of you may have heard. So that was our key. Um, and then afterwards we went to our knight made of metal. Then we go to our own body made of water, lots of parts of it, in which case we're going to conduct electricity. And then we go to our trumpet also made of metal. Next, we go to the orange and then we go to our mouse because anything living will contain water and therefore will conduct electricity. Then our melon and then finally our bananas, which will also conduct electricity. Okay, so are you ready for our performance of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on these conductive objects? <laughs> right, here we go, starting with the key and... There we go, well done, finish with the banana. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you got the solution, but uh, you can always practice it through a little bit by yourself if you want to get that taped. Okay, well done everyone. Okay, so when we're ready to move on, we're gonna give this blue button here a click and then get out of full screen mode. So click this one and then click this one. The next section of this workshop is going to focus on the musical version of the word conductive. So here we have our conductor over on the right hand side um, and we're going to play a clapping game and she's going to help us by bringing us in um, with her baton there. She's going to give us four beats in and then we're going to have to repeat the clapping game that we've heard from her. But before we can do that, we've got to actually put the code into this game to be able to do it. So why I'd like you to do is go over to the right hand side 
and on the sprite menu I'm going to do this slowly look down to the right hand side I'm going to scroll down this page so can you see we're just getting slightly low and I'm looking for the sprite of that conductor and there it is I'm going to just give that a click now when you've been able to click on the conductor sprite here in our sprite menu you'll be taken to this section here and we have a lot of code on this already because I've put it here so don't worry that's all supposed to be there I want you to scroll down the page now until we get to the block of code which starts when I receive conduct and what we're going to start to do here is look through the code at how this part of the game works so bear with us a second when we go to see where this message comes from because this message doesn't come from this sprite it actually comes from the one next to it can you see the sprite here our one two three and it's called button one it's just next to our conductor let's give that a click and have a look what the code is that's producing this message so let's start to read through this script so we have a bit of a better understanding of it so it says when this sprite is clicked which is this sprite here when we click on it with our mouse and the next bit of it is actually one of these from our variable list and we need to talk about that so that we can understand how our clapping game is going to work so a variable if I bring them up in this menu can you see we've got quite a few in our game already and that's because I've created those to um, for our conductivity one but the, our variable at the top is called clap pattern and what I've done is I've recorded six different clap patterns into the computer and this variable is going to choose which of those patterns it has so I don't know when I click on it which it's which the computer is going to pick because if you see over here it says set clap pattern to and pin pick a random number so it's either going to be one two three four five or six I don't have any control over that the computer will pick that for itself and once it's done that it's then going to broadcast conduct which is what we were looking at over here on our conductor weren't we it says when I receive conduct so underneath here what we have to do is we have to use that variable that we saw from the other uh, sprite we have to use that to play back different sounds so what I need to use as well is one of these things from the control menu and if I just scroll up on this a little bit there we go it's going to be a condition okay so the way this code's going to work is it says when I receive conduct if something then an action and let's think about this for a second because what we want to say is that if our clap pattern is equal to one then we want it to play our first clap pattern back so let's go over to our variables let's drag in this clap pattern and let's change this first bit to one so if clap pattern equals one then we're going to go up to sounds up here and let's have a look play clap pattern there we go but we don't want clap pattern six we've got to be very specific here very careful we want clap pattern one so if our clap pattern is equal to one then play clap pattern one and I'll just show you those in the sounds so you can make sure here we go clap pattern one is this one quite a stable one that one and clap pattern two clap pattern three there we go and so on so back to our code for a second what I can do now is rather than put all of this code in again if I duplicate this bottom and just change this number and that number I can do that code quite quickly so uh, right click or hold it down on the tablet or option or alt if you're on a keyboard um, to bring you up other menu duplicate it and we'll just add it underneath and change these values so that's going to be clap pattern 2 with clap pattern 2 we go it's giving me a performance already I'm going to duplicate it again put it underneath and this time it's going to be three and clap pattern three there we go <laughs> he wants to give me a performance every time that's fair enough and then fourth one we're going to have clap pattern four and clap pattern four as you know 
and then let's duplicate this two more times. So let's make that pattern five and pattern five. And then, well, at least you get to hear them. And then finally, six and the six. So let's see. So there we go. Let me just zoom out on this slightly so you can see everything. There we go. So our code now reads, well, when I conceive, con when I receive conduct, which is going to be from our button over here, this is just a wait block so that the, it doesn't go straight away. If clap pattern um, variable is equal to one, then we play one and that goes all the way down to clap pattern six. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, the rat, that's our code built for this one. So well done for following those steps. We're now going to play our clapping game. So I'm just going to go into full screen mode. Okay, so well done for going through those steps of the coding and also well done for learning about conductivity and conductive materials as well. So our game should work now. Let's just do it once to see how what the pattern is going to be with it. So what should happen is you should get four beats of introduction from our conductor. Then we should get our clapping pattern at random because we've put that code in for it. And then we get four more beats to prepare ourselves and then we have to repeat it back. So we have to listen to the clapping pattern and you have to clap it back almost like an echo. Okay, so let's click on this sprite. And then you would have a go to clap your the rhythm you just heard back. Okay, great. Well, right, I'm going to try it a few times. So here we go. Click on our sprite. Okay, I'm going to listen. My turn coming up. Okay, excellent. So why don't you have a few more goes um, with your partner and well done for getting this far in through the conductive music clapping game. <laughs> We've come to the end of the session today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've had fun finding out about conductive materials and performing a little bit of music as well. I'd just like to take your attention to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitch accounts. If you see conductive music on there, click on that subscribe button. Also, if you head over to conductivemusic.uk, you will find over 60 one hour projects for you to get your teeth stuck into. So if you'd like to know more about that, click on the subscription link below. As ever, thank you to Arts Council England and our partners for their continuing support. Bye-bye.